Oh like my god. See if we can get it from the side. His shadow is the best. He looks like a wolf of some sort. There's some sort of creature. There. Oh, boop. <laughs> So today is the day! Gonna do a little lifting! Put all this wood in it! Here's our little thing. Oh, I can't see this here. There you go. Yeah, see? And then we'll brace up the door. Shoop, shoop! And uh, brace the corners, top and bottom. Oh! Donage! So we'll install it right there. The beam should go right across into there. And then that one will go right across over to there. Mm hmm. Gonna make some beams. So that's uh, step one. See the little guy right here. Sixteens. Yeah, we're gonna offset the seams so they're a different space. Some um, fucking sandwich in action. Take these beams, a little sandwich. A little sandwich. Sandwich. I am so hungry. The sheathing on the walls provides more than enough stiffness. However, the roof doesn't have that sheathing installed in quite the same way. Uh, so I needed to, and, and the, the floor, there's no, nothing on the floor providing stiffness. So in order to address that, I put these two by fours in the corner and I tag them in wherever I can, as much as I can with as many screws as I can to provide some kind of stiffness in that direction. Now I need the measurement to place the wall beam on the wall. <laughs> so uh, it's two two by 10, so it's nine and a quarter inches each, plus the jack, which is five and a half inches each for a total of 24 inches. I think I want a little extra though, just to make sure. Now I set the beams in place by using a little piece of wood I had laying around to set it on there and use a couple pieces and use a couple screws to rough set it. Then I grab my box of 1600 screws and just start banging it out all the way down. I use two screws per stud, except where the be the main cross beams are gonna be underneath, where I use four screws per stud and same thing, just bang it out all the way along. I don't remember how many screws I use, I did go through a whole box and then some. Uh, this took, I don't know, probably would have, a half hour to do it all, 45 minutes maybe. It wasn't even that bad. Now it's time to build the main beam. I do that by building them in place because I need to make sure that they are far enough under the sheathing and under the beam, the temporary wall beam that I installed. There'd be no way to get them in there if I built them not in place. Uh, I didn't calculate this. I knew the building would be light. I knew this would be more than enough. And I knew I would know right away if it was more than enough. And then I use little garden stakes to hold them uh, in place in the one direction and then sandwich them together all the way along. Those little garden stakes really worked wonders though for just, you know, again, one man show. You need to do these little tricks. You know, sustain that uh, soul ability to sandwich it all together. Uh, I use a ton of screws right near the jacking point near the wall because that's what I'm really worried about. As I move further towards the center of the beam, I'm using less and less screws. Because what I was really worried about is the shear point right near where the wall beam and the main cross beam connect. That's, that's the point where, you know, all the stress is really concentrated. Success? We lifted it up. I uh, didn't get really much of an update. Oh, uh, look at the beams. We get the beams all put together. Okay. And then on the sides, we got our two by tens. Two by tens? Yeah, two by tens. In. And this is plenty stiff enough. I just lifted up the whole bottom easily. I don't know, <laughs> like an eighth. Oh, let's lift it up again right now. You can see, I don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna watch when I close it. Yeah. I'm gonna watch when I close it. Yeah. Oh, let's see what's up. Yep. And that's like the whole way too. Oh, I see daylight. 
It's so funny though, like, the other end of the beam isn't even off the ground. And it's lifting the side of the garage. That tells you how light it is. I wonder if I can even pick it up with my hand. Oh, it's pretty light. Because we're gonna go in state. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. So, so pumped. Tomorrow's gonna be a big day now. Man, super pumped. This works so good. These beams, they work so good. Like the sheathing pr provides more than enough stiffness. Totally stiff. Lifted up the whole thing dead straight. And this little setup with these little things. Oh! Same thing with the, the Haas with. Still just, just amazing. That kind of concludes today. I'm gonna go eat some damn steak. Some steak. <laughs>